Welcome back. The research into the prevalence of a breast cancer genetic mutation in Bahamian women has been expanded to now target the entire Bahamian populace. Dr. Stephen Nayrod out of Toronto, Canada is spearheading the research which seeks to test between 1,500 women with a family history of breast cancer over the next year. Nayrod said the information gathered from the study will help in reducing the burden of cancer on Bahamian women and provides options for preventative treatments. We can offer preventive surgery which is very good but we like to get a real goal is in the next 10 years to identify a way of prevention that's not as drastic as removing healthy breasts. So we're now in discussions with some of the uh, drug companies about what might be one of the best medications one could give. We want it to be effective and non-toxic so that we can offer this to the women as an alternate to preventive surgery. And the Bahamas would be a critical center for that kind of initiative, according to Dr. Nayrod. It was recognized very early on that the breast cancer cases in the Bahamas were the result of a genetic mutation, according to Dr. John Lunn, who said doctors noticed in the 70s the high number of young women being diagnosed with the disease. Today, one in four, or 25% of Bahamian women, have the BRCA gene mutation. The statistic Dr. Nayrod quoted, 27% of these women have a positive BRCA test which is quite extraordinary because the, the largest percentage of patients in any other group were Ashkenazi Jews, and there's about 12%. So we have twice the incidence of a genetic defect than any other group in the world. It's the highest recorded incidence of genetic breast cancer here in the Bahamas. Well, if a woman does have the BRCA gene, her chances of developing breast cancer are between 50 and 85 percent. The doctors are also researching the prevalence of a gene mutation that causes ovarian cancer. And in ovarian cancer, uh, we've only tested nine women. We've started that, but the first nine, three were positive. So we think as many as half have ovarian cancers. So ultimately, we would like to be able to translate that information for the women who have the mutation might have gotten cancer, if they knew the information ahead of time, could take measures for prevention. Well, Nayrod said in order for the research to make any accomplishments, there needs to be widespread testing. The goal is to eventually test 100,000 Bahamians, and that would give way to a healthcare facility and public health care system that provides screening, preventative surgery, and preventative drugs like tamoxifen. More importantly, the doctor said Bahamian women need to detect the disease early. We'll have more on that in tomorrow's newscast. But for more information on this story, you can contact the Bahamas Breast Cancer Initiative Center.